Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hello again. So this is my channel. I love to do DIYs on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse and rustic wreaths and seasonal decor. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Also leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think and also give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok, and Facebook. I will have all those links down below. But today is all about everyday home decor, and these are my fabulous friends who I've been with since the beginning. More about them in a minute, but first, DIY number one. So I decided to go with Farmhouse, because I love Farmhouse, and this is what I'm using, this stencil that I have. Also, I got this from Hobby Lobby, orange sticker, you guys. Look for them orange stickers, some ribbon, and um, some chalk paste for my stencil, and some of this greenery, boxwood greenery from uh, Walmart. So this frame actually costed only $3.99, and the surface is already ready. I love the way the outside frame looks. So all I had to do was put down my stencil. Now this is a farmhouse stencil, as you can see. And all I did was take my chalk paste and use my little squeegee and it goes right through the stencil and then you pull it up and voila, you have a beautiful image on your, um, on your piece, <laughs> on your craft. So next I took some of this boxwood and I cut two pieces off and now I'm just gonna take some of my twine and I'm just gonna wrap it so that they stay together. It's just easier for me to glue it on in one whole piece. That's why I do it this way, but you could do it one piece at a time if you like. And then I just, once I did it with the hot glue, I just glued it down to the top of my frame and then I made this really cool, which you'll see at the end, my last project I saved to show you guys how I do my rag bows, I call them. <laughs> but what it is, is it's just like ripped, um, it's, it's actually like fabric ribbon that you're using. And also, um, I use the, um, I take some ripped, um, sorry, fabric, and I use that as well. So here it is. I love the way this one turned out. Let me know what you guys think. So today's all about everyday home decor, and my co-host this month is Rustic and Lace, and I'm your host. Every month on the 20th, we get together, and we come up with a really cool theme, and we bring you guys some videos. So down below will be, in the description box, will be the co-host's, um, her channel, and also the links to all the girls, the playlist that are doing it this month. So I'm taking these tags from the Dollar Tree, some of these beads, also that fabrics from the Dollar Tree. Basically all of this is from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of painter's tape and I'm just making a thin pin stripe on the chalkboard um, tag on one of them. I cut them apart. Um, there's two tags that you get from the Dollar Tree, which is pretty good for a dollar and a quarter. And these are pretty cool. I mean, they're pretty durable too. So I like the stuff that the Dollar Tree's been pulling out. So then once that's dry and painted, I take it off and now I'm going to make a little bit thicker pinstripe right next to the other one. I'm just going to leave a little space in between and then I'm going to go in with my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint that one. And then I'm going to take it off again <laughs> which you will see in a second and then once I get that tape off then I'm going to tape the bottom portion with the tape and I'm going to make a little pinstripe going across the bottom a little stripe and I'm just going to do it with that and then once that's done then I'm just going to take all the tape off and then you're going to see what else we're going to do. And we're going to put that one aside. Now I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use the back. And I'm going to use my paint and I'm just going to paint the whole back of that one with the white chalk paint. Next, I'm going to take this fabric. I love this fabric from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut out the chicken. So, or the rooster, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to cut that little piece out. Now, I am cutting a little bit over a little bit. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than the actual square because I'm going to rough it up. I'm going to pull some of the thread off of the fabric and make it kind of like ruffly on the ends to make it look a little more rustic because I love the rustic farmhouse look. 
and that's what I'm going for. You can see I'm pulling the little strands out. You just pull at it and they come right out. And then next I'm gonna use some Mod Podge, just a little bit, and I'm gonna use my little sponge brush and I'm smooth that out. And then I'm gonna take my piece that I cut out and I'm going to lay that down in the center of my other one, of this other tag. And then I just kind of smooth it out with my fingers. Now I'm gonna take this Buffalo Check ribbon that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna do a little um, piece going across the top and the bottom. So I'm just cutting a little piece off and then I'm gonna use my hot glue and I'm gonna glue it down in the front with a little piece of glue and then I'm gonna turn it over and then glue it to the back. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the top and that's just giving it a little more decor to it, making it a little, get a little more high end, I guess you could say. And then I just cut the excess off and make sure it's just glued down really tight because we don't want it to come off. And then once that's done, we're gonna glue these two together. And I'm gonna kind of glue them at an angle. And I'm just using hot glue to do this. And I wanna make sure that my holes match up on the top. So you wanna make sure those holes are together because we're gonna put some string in the front of that. And then all I did is take a piece of jute twine and I kind of like looped it through the top. And now I'm just adding on my little beads. Now these beads are in my Amazon shop, which is listed in my description box. You can find these beads. I bought them, they were Christmas at Christmas time. So, but they have the white and the buffalo check and the black in there. So that's why I got them because I figured I could use them all around. And then I just tied a knot at the top and that's it for this DIY. This was super easy, you guys. And I love these ones that I'm doing because they're pretty primitive because you can use them all year round. So now DIY number three, I am going to take one of these from the Dollar Tree, which is another uh, tag. This one is just a beaded tag and I'm gonna use these other beads that were from the Dollar Tree. And also I'm gonna use one of these um, stencils that I got as well. These are Chocotour stencils that I am using, um, but you can also purchase stencils like these on Amazon, but I have my Chocotour store uh, listed down below if you wanna check it out. And um, yeah, the, I'm using white chalk paste. These are really easy, I use them, I love using them, but you can also purchase these on Amazon as well, just so you guys know. And next, I'm gonna take a few beads off of this. These were just the beads that you could get at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I already had them in these colors and I absolutely love these. I bought a whole bunch of them because I'm like, I could, if I don't use the whole string, I could just take the beads off and use them as I please. So this is a great bargain at the Dollar Tree. And so I took the plain ones off and I just attached these ones on there. I just took some off and just tied it on there in a knot. And there you go, you have a cute little for your tear tray or just on a little riser, but you have this cute little tag with beads. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. So easy and so inexpensive, you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. So now DIY number four. Now this is the one I've been waiting to show you guys. I'm so excited about this one. So we're gonna use white chalk paint, white chalk paint. Um, also these from the Dollar Tree, I'm using the chicken, the cow, and the pig. And then this was also from the Dollar Tree, but I cut it, okay? I cut the top part off and the bottom, and we're not gonna use that center portion. And then I used these wood pieces from the Dollar Tree, these long ones. And we're gonna use some popsicle sticks, some jumbo ones, and also some stencils. So the first thing I did is I'm putting these together so that they're even, and then I'm taking the jumbo popsicle sticks and I am going to glue them down with some super wood glue from the Dollar Tree and also hot glue. I do both because I wanna make sure that these are going to stay together. Now you could take the wood pieces and put the wood in between them as well if you'd like, but I'm keeping this for myself so I wasn't too worried about if it came apart. But these stuck pretty well because we're also going to be gluing on the top and the bottom of that um, piece that I cut from the Dollar Tree. So I did one, two, three, four, five of these. Um, you want to make sure you get, these are the big long ones, uh, wood pieces that you get at the Dollar Tree. So those are the ones that I'm using. But you can use any, any size you want. I mean, you can make this any way you want. There's so many different ways you can do this. So... 
but yeah so then I went in with the white chalk paint and I just um, did the whole thing in white and I did the front and the back because I like to finish all my pieces um, it would just bother me if I didn't so that's what I did um, and then we're going to glue this top part that we cut from the other <laughs> decor piece that we got from the Dollar Tree this was that farm fresh with the cow on it and um yeah it's like a cutting board fake cutting board and I just cut the top and the bottom because we're making a longer cutting board you see these all the time at Hobby Lobby and I wanted to make one of these so I thought this was a great idea so then I just glued it down to the bottom really really well um the top of the cutting board on the top and then the bottom on the bottom and then well you saw what I did and now I'm just using the antique wax by Waverly and my chippy brush and I'm just going around the edges of this because of course I'm going to make it look rustic because that's what I like and I just did a dry brush um all over the top of it as well to make it look a little old and not so new and then once I get all that done then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three and I took them off of their stands now the pig one didn't want to cooperate did not come out well so I used my black chalk paint by Waverly the ink color and I am just um, going over the bottom part of it so it's an easy fix right so that's it if you have black paint you can use black paint acrylic paint doesn't matter it's just going to cover it up then I took each one of these stencil pieces that I had from Chocotour, but you can get them online. Don't forget Amazon, always check. And this one says Chuck, so I put that one in the middle of the um, chicken, and now this one's gonna go on the pig. It says Oink. And then on the, they didn't have one that said Moo, believe it or not. So I ended up using this one that says Fresh Farm, I believe. And um, I just used my white chalk paint to go over these. And I love these. You guys, you, there's so many things you could do with these cows and pigs and all this farm stuff that they're coming out with is so cool. Oh, it was milk, fresh farm milk. Or farm fresh milk, sorry. And then I'm going to use this ribbon that I had in my stash. And I believe I got it at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. <laughs> but they always carry this ribbon there. And I'm just going to cut pieces off for the top and the bottom. And now I'm just going to put a little bead of glue down and I'm going to do it on the bottom and the top of my first piece. And this is the rustic part that I love using these country like type of ribbon and also the kind of burlap ribbon that it's frayed on the edges. It just makes the piece look so great. And then I did the top and the bottom of this one as well. And I did the ends too, just to make it nice and tight. And then I put this piece on the top that has a little bit of the buffalo check on the ribbon. And then I'm just going to flip it around. And of course, we're just going to pull it nice and tight and then cut off the excess um, ribbon that we don't need. And I always cut my ribbon a little bit longer. I waste a lot of ribbon. I should really be mindful of that. But I don't know. I'm just going so fast that I just do that. But doesn't that look cool? I love it. So it's like an extended board, but it's decorative and it looks so cool to hang up or just like put it up on a shelf or anything. And now I'm just going to glue these down. So I glue the chicken first um, and I just used hot glue for this, but you can also use, you know, E6000 or the super wood glue if you want. But I just use the hot glue. I use the Gorilla Glue sticks in my hot glue gun, so it usually holds everything really well. And then I did the pig and then I did the cow on the bottom. And this turned out so super cute, you guys. I was so excited to show you guys this because I saw someone else make it. I can't remember where because I saw a couple of these. And this is my version. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. I love the way it turned out. So now I'm going to take some of this Brig Jute Twine that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I am going to make a knot first. And then I am going to take the hoop part and I'm going to stick it through the hole at the top of the um, sign. And then I'm just going to loop it through. And that's how I did the other one. Just for reference. That I told you I looped it through. And then, and then I undid, I've made it look frayed at the edges of my knot. Because I like it like that. And then you can use this to hang or you can just leave it. 
so now this is how I make my little bows. I love making these, you guys. You probably hear it in every video, but I just really love making them. I'm addicted to making these. So all I do is I take my Bodabra and I ripped some different kinds of fabrics that match whatever I'm making and some also ribbon that doesn't have the wire in it. So like lace ribbon or just regular de decorative ribbon. And I just keep looping it back and forth. I just keep going back and forth with it. And I keep doing that until I get it to the thickness and however I want it to look, you know. But this actually makes it look like a rag bow because your edges get frayed when you're pulling them, you know, ripping them away from the actual fabric. And that's the awesome part of this. So that's what I'm doing. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. Um, this bow just kind of made it look even better. And I took some of the lace from the Dollar Tree. I got all this fabric from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby clearance section, and yeah, that's it. I always buy my stuff on clearance or on sale or from Dollar Tree, so. And then I just trimmed whatever is hanging, you know, too long. I just trimmed it off, made it look nice and even, and kind of fluffed it up. And now I'm going to put that on the top part of our little sign and I just glued it down and then I'm going to take one of these little buttons that I had in my stash and I'm going to glue that right in the center and I zip tied it together but you can use twine whatever you have to zip tie you know your bow together and that's it you guys so I hope you guys liked these I absolutely love the last one is my favorite I saved it for last but you guys let me know what you think also don't forget to check out everyone in the playlist and the co-host and give them show them some love and I want to thank you guys for watching and as always remember stay crafty bye